Hey, yo, what's going on, bro? Once again, bros, women, bronies, and Pegasus is the one, the only, of course, Mr. Nintendo Sony for 2011, aka Chris and Guy 2009. And of course, you guys in wrestling to his channel before to begin definitely check out Freedom Net and what of course, Trouble Up Shoes on that. If you want personal channel banners, I'm specifically made just for you guys. All the good shit. And of course, um, definitely check out the Business Rush program, Best Part of Shoes All the good shit. Links in the description box down below and annotation on the side if you want to know more about it. But, anyways, ladies and gentlemen, Without further ado, let's begin. You already know what the title is of this video is going to be since you clicked on it. Thank you very much if you did in advance. And uh, yeah, without further ado, let's go. So, you already read what this video is going to be. It's going to be a little bit of a rant. Or if you're on my Criticism Guide 2009 channel, I'll probably have the links in the description box down below if you want to know what that channel is all about. Some of you people might know already, depending on how long you were subscribed to me. But anyways, YouTube Red. Oh my fucking god. I, I never really thought I'd see the day when this would actually even come into existence. And I'm going to leave the link in the description box down below to the article that I got this from. It's from The Verge. I would have read it in Kotaku, but they're mainly talking about PewDiePie. And you already know how I feel about that. That douchebag dude. I really don't give a shit about a lot of his content. Most of his subscribers are little kids most of the time anyways. But anyways, let's get into this article. And hopefully I don't have to do a two-parter. So I do. I apologize in advance, ladies and gentlemen. But here we go. YouTube Red is now available. Get rid of ads and watch videos offline for $9.99. By Chris Wells. So shout out to Chris Wells for making this um, article on this website from yesterday, October 28th. Actually, no, that was the day before. So it was about two days ago. <clears throat> I know two weeks ago I said I was going to talk about this, but I just didn't have the time of day to do it. And I was still going to do my top 10 creepiest Pokedex entries list. It's actually the first time I ever do that on this channel. I did like creepiest fusion Pokemon earlier this year, but I really wanted to expand a little bit more. So... Stay tuned for that tomorrow. I was going to do it today. I was like, uh, I was already getting tired. I did four videos. This is going to be my fifth one of the day. So, yeah. And work was kind of a bitch. It sucked. Uh, usually it's um, a lot better than other times. It doesn't. But yeah, so it says starting now, you can pay $9.99 per month and never see another ad on YouTube again. The company's YouTube Red subscription service, which removes ads and includes other perks like offline playback and background audio officially launches today in the United States. Beginning next year, YouTube Red will also be offer exclusive content from some of the platform's biggest stars. We took an in-depth look at the creation of YouTube Red earlier this month. You can subscribe directly from PC, Android, or iOS devices, but the monthly device cost is higher, $12.99 per month. If you are signing up on an Apple device, signing up on an Apple device, there we go. A single YouTube Red membership work works across all devices, smartphones, TVs, apps, PCs, etc. In quotation marks, quote unquote. You can also get started with a one month free trial. That should make it easier to decide whether ad free YouTube is worth adding to your slate or other monthly subscriptions like Netflix or Spotify. Actually, if you decide to pay for YouTube Red, you can probably ditch Spotify or Apple Music, since the monthly fee also gets you full access to Google Play Music. To sign up, head to the settings, settings section of your YouTube mobile apps. So I'm using it right now. Other than that, um, overall thoughts, views, and opinions, I really, <laughs> I'm not going to sit here and bash the crap out of this thing, but this... This is not going to be good for a lot of people, especially a lot of younger children or teens that don't have any work or any jobs to pay for this $9.99 per month subscription. They're going to be really screwed up to pooch in the ass with this one because there's no way in how they're going to be able to afford this. They're just going to stick with the old school YouTube. Well, a lot of people are saying this is the old school YouTube thing, but I really honestly don't care about a lot of these big time YouTube celebrity stars. Maybe there would have been like two of them I actually would have cared about way back in the day. Like, I don't know, I guess Phila DeFranco and... Um, I don't know if she's still around anymore, half her words, maybe even the fine bros, and that's probably it. Um, not very many I really care too much about. And I'm not sure if they still consider Star like the game theorists, I guess, and um, Jay Witz, you know. I guess they're okay too. They're they're still pretty decent. But anyways. Yeah, um shout out to Spectre and this other dude, I forgot his name, I think he's like from Ireland or Scotland. 
I actually made YouTube videos on this, and a lot of other people like Alpha Omega Sense, Proto Mario, etc., etc., etc. The list goes on. There's millions of other people I made videos on this, whether they're big timers or small channels like myself that's making this um, video right now in the statement on YouTube Red. Yeah, I, I'm not really feeling this thing. I honestly don't fucking care about this thing at all, period. Um, I already got a crap ton of bills and like shit I gotta pay already in real life. So yeah, uh, I'm not gonna be using this thing anytime soon. I can guarantee you that. And it, it kills a lot of the people that are content creators and I've been on YouTube for fucking years, man. Even way back in 05 when it first came out. And um, this is when the internet was just starting barely getting popular on social media networking accounts. I'm not gonna get too much into that history. You can look at it for yourself, but um, man, goddamn, it's just, <laughs> it's fucking sad the way that they become, uh, just, just being a lot of greedy, greedy, um, shit-stained little bastards. That's what they're fucking becoming, man. And YouTube's starting to become one of those, like, little bullies on the playground that ask you to steal money from them. All right, they steal their money from you and take you, take you out, and they don't do it for no damn reason at all. And, um, I'm not cool with that. I'm really not. And, um. I really don't want to be a part of something like that. That has to happen. Even though I was a billionaire, like, giant YouTuber, like, fucking PewDiePie or Markiplier or any of those guys up there on the top of the fucking pyramid scheme. It's like, yeah, um, I really don't want to just do it for the money and just become rich and famous just for no fucking reason. That's not the original intention of why I even got on YouTube in the first place. No sir, Bob. Just, it isn't. And, um, in my own personal opinion, it's just fucking crap. It just is. And if it smells like shit, and it talks and looks and it acts like shit, then it probably is bullshit, unfortunately. And that, that just rots me to my fucking core. It just ugh, pisses me off on so many levels. The only reason I'm real calm about this now is because um, they give you a one-month free trial, and I've tried it myself. Canics aren't that good on that thing. It's just fucking all over. This is like how YouTube gaming tried to be something big. I remember when a lot of people were saying how... Um, Google Chrome was um, destroying the crap out of YouTube. Thank God that changed the way, that changed, um, it destroyed a lot of the comment section and the messaging system like it is nowadays, but uh, it still didn't do that good, do justice for this website very much, to be totally honest. I mean, there's a lot of other websites I go to as well, I could say, but, you know, there's like Anime Flavor, a couple other places like, um, what's it called, um, Steam, I obviously go to that place a lot. Twitter, obviously, I go in there a lot. And there's, like, lots and thousands of other places I could go to. Obviously, DeviantArt, a lot of the social media accounting sites besides YouTube. But it's just one of the really big three out there. Besides, you know, this one, Facebook, and I will probably say even Instagram now. Um, Luckily, they haven't taken over Twitter. But anyways, <laughs> uh, the last two things I'm going to say about this is that um, it's going to kill a lot of people, especially the ones that did a lot of Let's Playing channels. The Let's Players are going to suffer big time for this shit. The content creators out there, like I said, shout out to Spectre and this other dude. And a lot, plenty of other Let's Player um, content creators out there. I'm not one of them, but most of my channels is either anything with Pokemon or MLP related stuff. Um, my other channel, my Chris and Guy channel, I only do like movie reactions and real super serious fans and conspiracy theory shit about Illuminati and all that. And I, I could go on and on on that, on that channel or that site. But, ugh, it's kind of a bitch. It's almost like the punch to the face with fucking spike brass knuckles. That's what it feels like, in my opinion, of how I'm feeling about it. And I'm not on board with that um, idea. I'm sorry, I'm just not. But, um, yeah, one last other thing I really want to make the statement clear. I know a lot of people are like comparing this to Netflix and um, Spotify, which I don't have no problem paying Netflix for that shit every once a month. That's cool with me. I don't care. Or even, like, um, Daily Motion, um, Twitch. You know, I wouldn't mind paying those um, sites like nine ninety nine per month or seven ninety nine per month. Which actually, no, I do pay for the Netflix one every now and then. But yeah, it's just not a good look. I'm just, I'm sorry. Even though it takes out the ad revenues, because those fucking little goddamn like ad revenues and the cloggers things, they get really annoying after a while. And the only reason why I do is just you, you could, you could block my ad revenue if you want. That's totally cool with me. I honestly don't care. I already got my two real life jobs out there surviving luckily and i'm always doing it thank god i am with my other three roommates <laughs> oh man but anyways um that's really all i have to say it's really gonna hurt a lot of the let's playing community really really badly and a lot of like speedrunners out there that really love doing this stuff. especially people that do this for a living 
I can't even imagine imagine the stress that's gonna have on those um guys' this channel and their content creations and a lot of the stuff that they buy to make their channel improve it and design a lot more better than what they envisioned it to be. And that's pretty much it. Links description box down below to Spectre and the other dudes um response to YouTube Reddit. And uh yeah, that's pretty much it. Same with the article as well. Any annotation on the side. Either here or over there, doesn't matter, anywhere. Peace out once again, bros, women, bronies, and packages. So we'll see you when I see you guys a good day. Have a good night for everywhere out around the world. Don't forget to at the same time. Don't forget to be reckless. Keep it calm. Keep it cool. Keep it chill. Keep it collective out there. And until then, next thing, guys, peace out, ladies and gentlemen. Stay tuned. More videos coming soon. Brand new videos on the channel almost every single day. You guys, stay in the grind. Stay safe. Stay, stay, stay healthy. Be easy. Be you. Do it yourself. Peace out. My life's sour crowd. I'm gone. I'm getting out of here. Stay tuned. More future content on the channel. And as always, stay tuned for more updates. See you guys later. I honestly don't even know what to say anymore. This shit's had my head cracking for a while now. See you soon. I'm out. And um, stay tuned for more stuff. Stay safe, everyone. Happy early Halloween.